Hello, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How are you all? I hope you all are fine with the grace of Almighty Allah. From this one, what is the objective of this activity? Is so the main objective of this activity is if door open, fan and light should be on. Okay, so if door open, the light and fan should be on. Okay, if the door is closed then fan and light should be off. So how we will make this one? Suppose this is a topology. We already created it, OK? Especially the IoT devices, just click on, click here, end devices, OK? Then go to this home. Have you seen this? This is the icon. Have you? Can you see this one? OK? Yes, yes, yes. Here. So you will find these devices, OK? So you can take these devices, the door, fan, and light light okay so here we will use okay so config physical config so here we will use a display name we will say uh, this is a door okay and here fan we will use a fan okay this is our fan okay better to label it properly okay this is light light okay light please all of you don't use a, a pre-configured topology we will do it from the scratch okay that is what I show you. It is leave it. So now door you need to connect. OK, so take this one copper cable. Connect with the switch. Fast Ethernet. This one and connect the lamp fast Ethernet with the. Switch OK, now you made the connection. OK, this is the connection you required it. OK. Now, the second thing, what you need to do it. So we made this connection. Now it is done. Yes. And uh, let me also arrange fill color. OK, I will use this color. No problem. OK, at least you will see. So this is our our. Uh, now the topology. The first here we need to sign the IP addresses. OK, so what IP I need to sign to the uh, what IP I need to sign to the server 192.168.10.1. OK, so I will assign 10.1 to the server. OK, 10.1. OK, the default gateway I will assign this IP. OK, and I will go to the router. OK, go to the config tab. Gigabit 00. This is gigabit 00. See IPv4 address 10.1 on and default subnet mask. Done. OK. So I have assigned this IP address. OK, this is the IP address I have assigned to my default gateway. Is it correct? Is it OK now? So first step you need to do this one. OK, the second step is. So now you need to configure the the DHCP. OK, we, we don't have the server. First we also need to add the server. OK, this is our server. You need to add the server as well. So we can say this is our IoT server or the server. So what is the server IP address? So server IP address, this is our server IP address. OK, I will take this is our DNS or the server IP address. I will copy and paste here. This is my server IP address. OK, and I need to sign the IP address to my server. OK, 10.10 subnet mask default gateway 10.1. OK, so this is my default gateway. All of you with me. This is a DNS, OK, 10.10. .10. So I have done. Now I need to make the connection with uh, this one, OK, with the switch. So take the cable, connect with the switch. OK, now it is connected, OK. Now, but the thing is you need to enable the IoT services here. The IoT services, go to the services, go to the IoT and make it on, OK. So you had. You made the registration server IoT, OK? The registration IoT, OK? The IoT. So just registration is on. Now it is OK. All of you with me? It's OK. Did you get me now? Yes. Can I go to the next step? OK. So IoT, please you follow these steps, OK? Now, the first step here. So what is the, the things here we need to do? We need to configure the DHCP uh, configuration on the router, OK? So how we can configure the DHCP? Please tell me now. Yes, please. Can you tell me now? 
the commands first we need to do i be bold sorry yes. i be bold dscp yeah ip4 dhcp okay so first you need to configure the ip dhcp pool okay the pool name so in our case what is the pool name i will just see here so this is the pool name iot okay okay now this is the pool name pool name is iot okay mm -hmm. so i will use this pool name okay yes yes please tell me now ip dhcp pool okay so what is the pool name you can take pool name anything but in our case it is iot i am going to write iot okay okay what is the next command now what is the next command so you need to write network network, network. 192.168.10. please you can do the same way in your uh, topology please do it please 255 255 255.0 okay now the default default uh, the gateway how we can configure the gateway just write default router so default router is this is our gateway 10.1 okay so i will write 192.168.10.1 so this is our default gateway and the dns dns this is our dns 10.10 .10, okay so i will write 192.168.10.10 so this is my dns sorry dns i need to write dns okay so dns server okay so this is the command okay dns done okay so just save the configuration do wr okay so now it will save the configuration now if you want to see show run you can see oh domain name okay so sorry uh, leave it wr Uh, exit or okay no problem leave it so this is domain name wr this is uh, this is not the correct okay leave it so uh, this is a configuration we have configured the dhcp services now we will see whether we are able to uh, get the uh, because uh, it is going to get the ip or not especially our desktop pc go through this one you can see now DHCP request successful. It is getting all the detail. Now here, uh, door. Go to the door. Okay. Go to the fast Ethernet. DHCP. It is getting yes. It is getting the IP. Now fan. Go to the fan. Go to the interface. Click it on the DHCP. Yes. It is getting the IP. Go to the lamp. Go to the config. Go to the interface. Click it on the DHCP, it will get the IP. Now it is clear. Now I need to register my devices with the server. Okay. First, let me check. Can I can I access my server? Web server. See. So what is the web 192.168.10.10? This is the server IP. Okay. I need to access this IoT server. You can see admin admin so first i need to sign up okay ioe account i need to create the ioe account so admin you can create anything if i will say username is the student first name i will write ali muhammad okay fatima anything username password okay so in this case i create admin admin okay you can see no device is registered have you seen this one did you observe is any device registered so far? No. Hello? No. Because it is not registered. Why it is not registered? Because it is not configured. No? So if you will come and see in the setting, okay, leave it. Desktop. Okay. Now this is home editor. Okay. So no device is registered. Now we will go to the door and we try to register with the server. Okay. Click it on the door. Go to the setting click it on the setting then click it on remote server so what is our remote server can you tell me please 192.168.10.10 username what is username admin admin 
connect. You can see now it is connecting. It will take time. Now you can see it is connected. If you will go and see here, see the door is connected. Yes. Did you observe? Now from PC, you can see we can see the door is only registered with our IoT server. Yes. Now we need to also register the fan. So far, only door is registered. If you will see, only door is registered. You, you know. Now we need to also register the fan. Okay. Yes, please. So go to the setting. The remote server. Click it on the remote server. Here, what is the server IP address? 192.168.10.10. Username, admin, password, admin. Admin, admin. Click it on connect. You can see now fan is registered. You can see the fan is registering now. Ceiling fan. Now it is registered. Okay, is it is it okay so far? Yes, please. Yes. Is it okay or I'm a little bit fast? Yes, sir. Yes, okay? yes, clear. Uh huh. Because you know here I cannot see you. I cannot uh, uh, do, uh, because whether uh, I'm talking with myself or whether uh, you are listening or not. So because I'm totally uh, unaware. That is why please try to respond to me. Okay, this is very important. Always respond. Now, remote server here. See the light. Light is not registered. We need to also register the light. See here 192.168.10. Sorry, 10.10. .10, okay. Now the username is admin and password is admin. Click on click it on connect. You can see the light is also registered with our registered uh, registration server, IoT server. Okay. Now it is registered. Okay. What is the next step? What we need to do now, you tell me now. What is the next step? We need to write the condition. Okay. So, what are the conditions? So, we need to write the condition. Okay. The first condition if the door is open, then the fan and the light should be on. If the door is open, the light and fan should be on. If the door is closed, the fan should be off and light should be off. Go to the condition, add the condition. Here, we need to add the rule, rule name door open you can write any name but it is logical one na? at least later on once you will you know uh, uh, see what is happening in the rule in the condition at least you will come to know okay this is the rule name i will directly go and check where is the problem okay you can easily troubleshoot that is why we are writing door open you can write anything okay so this is just a name so door open so door if the Door open is true. Then this is the condition. Okay, same like the uh, the coding. Okay, so the fan status should be high, and you need to add one more action here. The light status should be on. Press OK. See the first condition is done. Now we need to add another condition. Okay, if the door is closed, what it should it need to do door close. OK, if the door is closed, then what it need to do if the door is closed, door. Open status is false. Then the fan status should be off and the light status should be off. Press OK. Now you can see. So our both conditions. Is done. OK, now go to the home. And we will see how it is working now. Now, come to the door, press Alt key from the keyboard, press Alt key from the keyboard, and bring the mouse cursor and click it here on the door. You can see once we click on the door, it start the fan and the light on. Light status is on, and the fan status is also high. See again. Come to the door, bring your mouse cursor here, press the Alt key from the keyboard and click it here. It is off. Now clear. Yes, please. Yes. Please like and subscribe to Heather Tech. Is it clear now?